What's up Guardians, it's your boy Doodle from Doodles of Destiny, and today I want to talk about the exotic combat bow Wish Ender and how you can easily obtain it. But before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to receive Destiny 2 news, tricks and tips, and all sorts of Destiny 2 content. Now the Wish Ender exotic bow was initially introduced back when the Forsaken expansion came out. In order to start this quest, you must first acquire the Broken Awoken Talisman, which you receive by completing the Forsaken campaign. Once you have this talisman, you will be prompted to present it to the Awoken Warrior statue within the Dreaming City's dungeon, the Shattered Throne. To get to this statue, you will have to navigate your way through this dungeon while fighting off taken enemies. The first section of this dungeon is called the Labyrinth. As you enter, you will see a group of taken enemies spawn with a Labyrinth Architect. Once you destroy the Architect and the taken enemies, a glowing symbol will appear prompting you to go to that specific room. The order of these symbols is still completely random, just know that you will have to navigate through this labyrinth until you've killed all seven architects at all the different locations. Once you have defeated the last architect, you will head back to the first room you originally started in. After you defeat the taken enemies waiting there, a large vault in the floor will open, prompting you to the next encounter. This section of the dungeon is called the Descent, and in my opinion is pretty self-explanatory as your goal here is to, well, descend. I would recommend some long range weapons here so you can easily take out all the Taken enemies. Once you have, jump down and follow the path until you find the Taken Captain boss. Once you kill this mini boss and the other enemies, a door will open. Through the door you will see a hallway filled with Taken knights, phalanxes, and hobgoblins. After you have cleared the room, you will take the staircase at the back of the room on the left side to the next part of this encounter. In this room, you'll be traversing above a pit on small beams. As you make your way on these beams, taken ogres will spawn in an attempt to push you off. Do not fall, as falling equals death. Definitely take out these ogres immediately as you see them. This will make jumping across these small beams a lot easier. As you leave this room, you will pass through a doorway of taken goo. When you pass through this, you will lose the ability to double jump and regenerate health. So of course, that means you will be swarmed by Taken Thrall. Welcome to the Thrallway. You will make your way through the Thrallway until you reach the end. Once you do, jump down and you will be prompted to cross the chasm. Make your way forward then hang a right following the path of exploding walls. Once you reach the top, you will have reached the first actual boss, Vorgith the Boundless Hunger. Vorgith is a Taken Ogre who will spawn with a shield that you will not be able to break unless you defeat four wizards with void shields. Each time you defeat a wizard, they will drop an orb which will give you the buff Petitioner's Mark. You will see next to the buff there is a 45 second timer. If this time ever hits zero, you and your entire team will wipe. Your goal is to defeat all four wizards, then dunk all four orbs in the nearest totem to begin the damage phase for the boss. You definitely can single phase this boss. I would recommend popping your supers and using heavy DPS weapons. If you do not single phase this boss, you will need to rinse and repeat until you defeat Vorgith. Once you do, you will make your way out of the room where you will finally find the statue to present your broken awoken talisman to. At this point in the quest, you will not need to progress any further in this dungeon. You can if you want, but just know it is not necessary. Once you have left or completed this dungeon, you will then see a quest appear on the Tangled Shore titled with a bunch of question marks. Like the Shattered Throne, you can assemble a fire team to make this easier. Just know you'll be facing a lot of Taken enemies and quite a few bosses in the final part of this quest encounter. The quest here is pretty straightforward, so I won't spoil it for those who have never played it or might be excited for new content. Or old content. Once you clear the final room of all the Taken, you will receive three Dreaming Tokens which you will need to take back to the Shattered Throne to Clen. When you have returned to the Shattered Throne, you will proceed through this dungeon as normal with a few hidden extra bosses. In the Labyrinth section of the dungeon, you will have to climb to the top of the room with the Dragon Symbol, or you will see an Orb or Arc Charge, in which you will have to carry this back to the roof of the Falling Bird and deposit it into the statue with nothing in its hands. Once you do, two Taken Minotaur bosses will appear, one after the other. Once you have destroyed said bosses, you will have cleansed your first token. 
From here you will proceed through the dungeon as normal until you reach the room where Taken Ogres are trying to knock you off the beams. As you enter through the doorway on the rightmost pillar in the room, you will see your next orb. You will take this orb about halfway through the room and then hang a right. You will see the statue with nothing in its hands. Deposit the orb and exit the room into the thrallway. As you enter the thrallway, an orb will be on the right side in the alcove. You will have to take this orb to the end of the thrallway and jump down. The statue is on the right side of this room. Dunk the orb and keep going to the next platforming section where a giant door will be opened in front of you after you cross the platforms. Enter the room and proceed to the center to start this encounter. There will be a lot of Taken ads appearing all around you with a Taken Captain boss. Once you have killed this boss, you will have charged your second token. The final boss to charge your last token will be in the Vorgith encounter. As I mentioned before, there are four wizards with void shields in this room. You must defeat all four wizards and dunk all four petitioner's marks in order to summon an invisible taken minotaur who will spawn near the entrance of this room. Once you kill said minotaur, an arc charge will appear somewhere random in the room. The statue that you need to dunk this orb in is on the left side of the room when you are facing the exit. When you dunk this final orb, you will summon another taken ogre boss. Destroy this boss then Vorgith, and proceed to the statue where you originally presented your broken Awoken Talisman to. Here you will receive your exotic combat bow, Wish Ender. Anyways Guardians, that's all the time I have to focus on this dungeon. If you found this video useful and or informative, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And remember, the Tangled Shore will be going into the Destiny 2 Content Vault at the end of this year, so whether this quest will still be available or completable, is up to question. And as always, this is Doodle from Doodles of Destiny.